Right. Welcome back, friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to visualize amplitude modulation. Amplitude modulation using Excel. So we know amplitude modulation. Uh, so in amplitude modulation, you have a message signal, which you call it as YM of T, uh, which has some amplitude AM into sine omega M of T. And then you have a carrier, uh, YC of T, whose amplitude is AC into sine omega C of T. Okay, so the amplitude modulated wave is your uh, Y naught of T will be, uh, you change the amplitude of the carrier. So you have original amplitude plus now modulated with the signal AM into sine omega MT. Okay, so this is the total amplitude of the carrier signal sine omega CT. Okay, so this is what is a carrier. Uh, so let, let us just produce this by uh by excel okay right so for this i'm going to first uh, start with my n so i will take my time instances so i'll start with a zero one two and proceed in a similar fashion okay so then i will start with my message signal so so, so, so let me give you how to change the amplitude. Also, let me I'll use this top blocks for empty uh, top block for amplitude. Let the amplitude be one. So this is going to be the amplitude multiplied by uh, sine two into pi divided by. Let me change the frequency. Let me change some take some smaller frequency. So for a frequency to be small, my denominator should be large. So. I'll choose a denominator which is 80 into the time instance here. Okay, so my this amplitude needs to be common. So it should always refer to the first row. So I press a dollar there. Okay. So this is the amplitude and this is the signal. And now if I just proceed that. So this is going to be my sine wave. If you don't believe me, I'll just uh, show you graphically. So you can see the graph. You can see this is my sine wave uh, with the time duration of 80. And let me just drag this top, the top, so that we can we can have it. So I'll just do Control X and Control V here. Let me place it here. So this is my sine wave signal, message signal. So here you can see, uh, just by changing this amplitude, I'll be able to vary the amplitude. So that is one variation. I have made it possible. I'll just keep it one here. So now for my carrier. Uh, so the carrier signal originally with the amplitude, let us say its amplitude is one again, and it is the same signal. So I'll just copy from here and paste it here. The only thing I need to change is the reference. So it is D3, now I should make it to C3. So this is my carrier signal originally. Uh, yeah. So in order to view it, I'll again go to my insert and a graph. So I get a graph here. So this is my carrier signal. So originally it is having same frequency, okay. So that's a blunder, I need to change it. So carrier frequencies need to be high. So let me say it is divided by just 10. Okay, so let me extend that again. So this is my carrier. Right, now you can see this is the message signal frequency and this is the carrier frequency. So YM of T and YC of T have produced. Now I need the output. So carrier amplitude also I can vary. You can see here just by changing two amplitude changes. Okay, and just by keeping three, again I can further increase the amplitude. Let me keep it to one. So now this is the amplitude modulate wave, AM output. So AM output is going to be, I'll just follow that equation. So it is uh, the amplitude of the first wave, which is this thing. Okay, so I I want it to be same always. So I'll keep it all of that. Plus, plus it is amplitude of a message signal and the sine wave itself. So this is the sine wave itself. Okay, so this entire thing is the amplitude. Now that is multiplied with into, 
sine of 2 into pi divided by 10 into a time instance t. Okay, so this is the amplitude output. We can just drag it here. Right. This is my amplitude modulated wave. So if you don't believe me again, people don't believe me. Okay, so I have to show it by the graph. So this is your amplitude modulated wave. Okay, so now you have all the three things with you. Uh, the input, output. Okay, I'll just put the input down and I'll bring it this here so that it looks good. This is your message signal and this is my carrier. This is my AM, okay. Amplitude modulated wave. Uh, let me now study, okay, what impact the uh, amplitude of carrier is going to have on this waveform. Let us say the carrier amplitude, if I choose it to be a larger amplitude, okay, this is uh, uh, the, what you say, waveform you get. You can see the modulation index obviously varies. So this having an amplitude one is actually a DSBC waveform, uh, which you get. And if you keep it to be a larger value, then you can expect an amplitude modulated wave with a uh, with a fine modulation index. Okay. So then if I can reduce this amplitude mark, message signal amplitude to 0.2, and then you can see the variations becomes quite small. Okay. So that is what is a uh, visualization. Okay. You can see how good you will be able to visualize using Excel. Uh, hope you have find it interesting. For more videos, like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.